John Eric Kelso, and I'd like to talk with you about some of the alternates to the plunger mute for the wah-wah and talking trumpet effects. Throughout history, trumpet players have used all kinds of other devices aside from the toilet plunger or sink plunger <laughs> that you get from the hardware store for the wah-wah sound or the talking trumpet sound, and I, I brought a few here just to give you some ideas. This one's kind of humorous. Somebody took a coconut shell, and I understand some of the early guys in New Orleans did this. They'd take a half, a half of a coconut shell and use that as a mute. So that's one way to do it. Sometimes you just grab a cup off of the table, or if you have a favorite cup or glass, I find that glasses work very well. I like this cup. This one's a Halloween cup. Another good way to get the sound of a plunger with a pixie mute, if you don't have, happen to have a pixie mute, is if you have a, a, a cup mute that has the adjustable cup. This happens to be a Dennis Wick, which is a nice one. So the, the cup slides in and out to get different sounds. If you put it in the position where it's uh, closer and not, not all the way out, you can kind of get that effect. So that gives that effect of the pixie mute with the plunger without having a pixie mute or a plunger. Another way that you get those kind of effects is with a Harmon mute, with the stem. A lot of people just throw out the stem. Don't throw out the stem, it's still useful and you, there's a lot of sounds you can produce that way that are quite different with the Harmon mute. There was a trumpet player named Clyde McCoy who in the late 30s, uh, I think it was late 30s, during the swing era, he had a, a very big hit song called Sugar Blues, uh, where he, he kind of was taking King Oliver's ideas and, and employing something like this. He had a big hit with that in the, in the swing era. That's a Harmon mute. One thing that I found very useful for plunger playing and for, for use with other kind of wah-wah type effects uh, is, is the hair tie, <laughs> or one of these hair elastics like this. What I do, and this, this is to prevent your third slide from just sliding out all the way while your left hand is operating the mute. And you know, that causes problems with intonation. So what I do is I just take the little elastic and I put it around here so that it holds that slide in place. So this comes back automatically. So with the, with the band in place like this, it, uh, it'll bring that slide back in and will we'll keep it from just sliding all the way out while your left hand is operating the mute. Now what I'm doing this for is because if I don't, and I'm using the plunger, and I, anytime I hit the, uh, the third valve, that slide is going to come flying out, and those notes will be way out of tune. So you've got... <laughs> That's okay if you want to sound like you're playing a mode, but we're not trying to do that in this case. So if you, if you put this band on there, it'll hold your third slide in place when your hand is over here and not here. So that's a, that's a little tip I learned along the way. <laughs> One other way that trumpet players have gotten that type of wah-wah effect and a nice muted sound for variety is using the hat mute or derby mute or tin hat mute or I think it's actually aluminum in this case. Here's an old one. And the, the old New Orleans guys like Sidney de Paris and uh, Kid Thomas often use a derby. Sometimes they'd have it on a stand like this, and then all, during an ensemble or a solo, they would just use it for little effects. I'll try to demonstrate a little bit of that.
or they might use it in their hand and get a little, little more of the wah-wah kind of stuff going on that way. Sidney de Paris was, was uh, brilliant at doing this. I think there's a, there's a video of him doing this on YouTube. And of course, that's a little bit crowd-pleasing too because people wonder what the heck you're doing. So that's a little bit fun. Some trumpet players also used to just use their regular derby hats or uh, fedora hats. and They might hang it over the bell to get a quieter sound or do that wah-wah sound as well. I hope you enjoyed this little segment on some alternates to the plunger mute and other ways to make some funny noises with the trumpet, which is always fun. <laughs>